there are so many ways that the internet provides real access to real people and resources, and that's what we're trying to accomplish. I was interested in technology like video production. It's interesting, you get to create your own work and it reflects what you, what you feel about certain things. So it's just, you get the perspective on certain issues. We work really hard to develop very in-depth content, but if they don't have a venue, if they do not have a way to show it, then this work is only staying here inside and nobody knows the brilliance and the, and the amazing work that the students are doing. The term has changed over time from a very basic who has a computer and who doesn't have a computer to now who has access to the internet, especially high-speed internet, as well as the skills and the knowledge to, to use um, those tools um, effectively. The city is charged with coming up with a digital inclusion program. The Department of Telecommunications and uh, Information put together this 15-member San Francisco Tech Connect Task Force. We want the digital inclusion program to make sure that we address the needs of underserved, vulnerable communities, not communities that are already, already very tech-savvy. We are here to provide the A, B, and Cs to the seniors. So A stands for access, B stands for basic skills, and C stands for content. And unless we have all three, the monolingual Chinese seniors are never going to be able to use the computer or the internet. A lot of the barrier is, is knowledge. People don't know that these computers are available to them, plus they don't know what is useful. There are so many businesses in, in the Bay Area that are constantly retiring their computer equipment that's perfectly good for home use. Computers and internet access are helping everybody in the community and people who don't have it can come to us to help with that. One of the biggest problems that we see isn't whether people can get computers through programs like ours, but whether they understand why they need a computer. And really the biggest issue we're facing today is helping people understand the value of having a computer. Well, immediately they would say, can I afford a computer? Uh, I don't speak any English, how do I use it? And then they will start to learn how to do email, how to uh, go back to a Chinese newspaper to read all the Chinese newspaper. A lot of the barrier still is around lack of knowledge or confusion or intimidation and not having people in their peer network who use computers in their lives. The important thing I learned from Caminos was to improve myself personally. When I first came to Caminos, I didn't know anything about computers. The second thing is I've, I've become, I've made some great achievements as an individual in my family and in, in things of the world. It's a real issue of self-empowerment where new immigrant families are able to communicate with their families at home, able to receive news and information in their own home language, really become more and more connected um, with, with the world as well as uh, connected even inside their local communities. If we value the diversity of our city and we value our diverse neighborhoods in the city, we need to ensure that they remain economically viable and um, equipping them and equipping uh, residents in those areas with jobs that will enable them to stay in San Francisco is critical for that. The important thing that I see here at Caminos is that it helps the low-income community. It helps the women who wouldn't have this opportunity otherwise. The workers with more education in San Francisco are more likely to be working in that knowledge sector. Um, where they're going to need that familiarity with the internet, they're going to find value in it, they're going to use it and be productive with it every day. And, and the half of the city's population that's in the other, uh, other boat is disconnected from all that potential prosperity. We really need to promote content and, and provide applications that are really relevant to people's lives here. And so a lot of the inspiration, especially amongst the immigrant community, we see is communications with um, people from their home country, but we, we as much want to use the internet as a tool for people to connect you know, within the local San Francisco community. I think this is our job as public educators to kind of give them this access and give them this opportunity to see that their efforts is being appreciated beyond their immediate reach. We have to blend this idea of community network with computer equipment, with training, and with support. If we can pull all that together, then we've got it.
it's as much about social and economic justice. In fact, it's more about social and economic justice than just technology.